Hello and welcome to Scale Modeling. And welcome to my unboxing of this tank from Tamiya. And it's a 135th scale. Uh, I will go and try and pronounce this as a Panzer Camp Wagon, I guess. Um, the reason I have a problem pronouncing is this because I have never done a tank before. Um, this will be built. This is planning to get um, built during a group build, which I'll, I'll talk about a bit later in the video. But first of all, I just received this today, and uh, we're going to open this up. It's sealed and hasn't been opened yet. And um, have a look at what uh, what comes up, what's in the box, eh? Okay, so uh, if this is your first time, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get notified of my videos as they come out. Give us a thumbs up if you like this at the end. Hope you're there at the end. <laughs> and if you are, comment at the bottom. Comments are welcome. Uh, this looks like a really interesting build. It's uh, just released last year in 2021. And I think it's, well, it's an updated version. It has new new parts to it from a 1990 version of the tank, from what I believe. And just a bit of a warning before I begin, I know absolutely nothing of tanks. <laughs> so all we're really going to be looking at is uh, the quality of the sprues, uh, what goes in here. And if I get anything wrong, I'll get you guys to help me out by throwing it down in comments and telling me off for what I named something wrong or I forgot to mention something or whatever. But hey, just like every other model I have done an unboxing for and built, it's an all new experience for me. And this is certainly going to be out of my comfort zone. But you don't know till you try. And who knows, maybe I'll get hooked on doing tanks. All right, so let's get this thing open. Just get the plastic off. Now, first of all, we'll have a quick look around the side. So here we go with some, there's a side view, front and rear view. And what does it say? The Panzer uh, North Africa, autumn 1942. So there's two versions in here you can make this. There's a, the African, and the German one. I'm going more towards the Africa. I like this tan color. But anyway, that'll be your choice. Let's have a look. Around the side here is pretty much telling you uh, what it is. Uh, it includes the four figures uh, and the two kinds of markings, which would be for two types of tanks. There's our German version of it. But we'll have a look more detail inside. And there's our figures. Again, we'll have a look as we go through the instructions on them. Which would be another challenge for me because I've never done figure painting before. But anyway. <laughs> okay. So, let's open it up. Right, and inside we have a box of plastic. Surprise, surprise. So, let's start from the top, I guess. Have a look at what we got here. Looks like on the top here we start with the figures. So there's some nice detail in those. We'll just move that aside. Turn that over. I'll bring the camera down a little bit so we can see better. All right, so so we've got some body parts there. Actually, I've just noticed the jacket this guy's wearing. Look at the detail on that. Really see all the creases quite pronounced on there. There's one arm separate there. All the arms are separate. Then we've got a hat there and some heads. Heads there. 
Oh, we might as well open these up too, eh? No good looking at these for the glare. And uh, you can see them better. Alright. Okay, that's better. So, I'm not sure how many sprues. Let me just quickly dig down in the box for the instructions. Which there looks like there's quite a lot stuff here. I just want to get an idea how many sprues there are. But, no? Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. Get to that. Let's have a look at these. So nice. Uh, there's the hats, the helmets there. If you're doing the German, I guess. It's a more broader hat on there. Um, like I say, the face is quite detailed, interesting to paint, it would be. Get the skin colour right, some very delicate parts there, I'm not sure what that is. It could be a strap of some sort. Uh, there's a machine gun there. Yeah, nice machine gun there. Pair of, looks like a pair, pair of binoculars. Uh, yeah. Uh, it looks very nice, very detailed. Very, very detailed. Okay, let me just grab the next piece. Okay, so looks like some tank parts. You'll probably hear me say that a lot because I don't know what else to call them. So, tank parts it is. Take that out and have a look at that. So, well, isn't that nice? Hey, look at the detail. I hope you can see that with a camera. So it's like a, a checker plate for a metal there. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like something like a walkway. Maybe it's part of a mud guard. I was going to say it goes over the wheels, but we're talking about a tank here, so tracks. So this looks like the lower part of the turret. Some hatchways in there. Another piece here, very nice and like rivet detail in there. Yeah, that looks quite nice too. There's some really very nice small parts already as part of the kit. So no, normally I would think that something like that and that would be a separate piece you'd add, whereas it's already on there as the piece. So that's interesting. Um, no idea what all these are. These look like some of the hatches uh, for here. They look like the hatches there. Don't know what that is. Looks like some side walls or something there. Again, lots of really nice detail in here. I don't know what that is. The pieces have got no flashing on them, that's for sure. They're very nice and clean. There's not going to be much trimming, much tidying up to do by the looks of things. Sink marks all seem to be on the underside. That won't be of any view, viewing areas. So that was sprue number, oh, sprue B, so they're lettered. That's sprue B. I'll put that aside. The next one here, we'll open this up. Uh, right, let's see. So this one is sprue F. Uh, let's bring the camera in a little bit more. All right. So again, nice, uh, you can hear that metalwork over there lots of nice little detailed pieces on that i don't know what part that is but it looks good <laughs> it looks like here we've got some bags uh that'll go on there um maybe some tarp rolled up here not sure other little bags all here and look at the detail in those really good Yeah, they're nice. Um, what else have we got? 
There's our fuel cans. We've got quite a few of those. Some very small little, look like little latches. There, some others, some very small pieces in here. Not sure what that is. They do look like some tracks, don't they? But, um, maybe they're spare tracks to go on the tank somewhere. Money guessing. Again, very nice detail. It's a nice area there. Look at those. Beautiful. There's some piping. Yep, yeah, looks like some piping around there. Uh, that looks good too. Not sure what they are, but very nice. Okay, so what was that? Sprue F. Let's have a look at this one. Open this up. Alright. Okay, some very small, look like aerials there. That looks like a spade and an axe. So there's some tools here. I'm looking at it upside down. That's better. <laughs> you can tell I don't know what I'm doing here, sort of. Uh, there's some boxes there. A uh, pair of, uh, what do you call those, clamps? Bolt cutters, I guess they'd be. Not sure what that is. Part of the turret, maybe. Maybe that is too. Not sure. There yeah, are some handles on the side here. Then we go over to it's like some more little boxes, more tools, maybe parts of the suspension under here, I'm guessing. Looks like another piece of track. Not sure what those are. Very nice. This is Spruce C. That may be the exhaust. I'm not sure what that about that. Some panel there. Alright. Now we've got here. Two in here. Looks like most, mostly all the wheels for the tracks to go in. Open this up. Two screws of the same thing. And this is both screw A. You only need to look at one. So obviously these are the wheels. I've never done these before. So that'll be interesting. The suspension looks amazing. Look at those leaf springs. See the detail in those leaf springs. Can you see that? Really nice. And there as well. Uh, the wheels look really good. Um, little hubs there. Lots of pieces to them in there. It'll be interesting. So that's two sprue A's of the same thing there. So I'll put them aside. Uh, now we have the tracks. I'll open that up. Alright, so again, two sprues, and they are sprue E and. Is that E and. They're two sprue E's. So that's interesting. So we got. They're both the same thing, yes. This, I believe, here is a template. Let me just look at one. There we go. Yeah, so that's a template for putting these tracks together. No idea how that works, but I guess that's just going to light them up and make them easier to attach and glue. Let's find out on the build. Uh, there's a few other small bits and pieces here. Very tiny little pipes, some really tiny little hooks there. Look at those. Real detail. That looks like... Uh, Oh, what do you call, call that? That hooks on the bottom and it's made of like steel cable. That's where you, like a tow point for the tank. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, but again, 
very nice and clean and crisp. Yeah. There's going to be hardly any cleanup on these at all. Really nice. Okay, let me know in comments if you know how that works. It actually says front on that one and front on that. I'm thinking if that is just a template to put them together, why would they have two of them? Uh, don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Now we have the actual body of the tank here. Have a look at that. It'll give us an idea of the size of it. I suppose it's going to be that big. That's a nice 135th scale. Should be fine. Um, I'm guessing it goes that way up. Or that way. See? What do I know? <laughs> anyway, look at the detail in that. Move these out of the way. Bring this in closer again. So you can see the light there. Very nice. All the rivets. I mean, this would be fantastic for weathering. You know, I, I mean, I'm not qualified to compare this to any other tank because I've never built a tank, never literally seen a model tank in my life. So I can't tell you whether that's better than any other brand or any other kit. I mean, you guys would know that. But I can tell you that it looks pretty crisp and neat. So, yeah. It'll be interesting. All right, bring this back up. Uh, yeah, so that's about the size of it. It should look nice on the shelf. <laughs> all right. So that's all the parts, I think. Now, looking in here, I've just discovered there's a little bag here. So in here, we've got a bit of copper wire. There's a couple of little plastic, oh, what do we call them? They use them, the, the turrets on ships to pivot. Uh, they act like a washer. Um... Then there's some cable that looks really good. I might as well open this up and have a look at this too. Why not? Let's have a look. Because that cable there looks really good. And it is... Okay, so it's a type of a cotton of some sort. There we go. Look at that. It's all right, eh? Okay. Uh, yeah, some very little little pieces we don't want to lose. There's some copper wire in there as well. Okay. Very good. I'll just get all this back in and we'll move on. Hang on one second. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I also found the decals. And we'll take them and have a look at those. Yeah. yeah, they're nice. Try and get the glare off them. You can see that. There we go. So they look nice and crisp. Yeah. Or can I say they're decals? <laughs> All right. Nice. Put them in. There. All right. So, in the rest of the box, we have our usual um, Camia Tech Tips brochure. Uh, basically just telling how to clean up sand, how to trim pieces. Yeah, bit of tips there on painting as well. Okay. That side. Brochure, this one comes in. Background information here. So uh, there's our colour options. Get the 
this camera up a bit more. Get the glare off. <laughs> All right. So here's our North African uh, Panzer uh, El Alamin, North Africa. Now I can tell you that El Alamin is actually in Egypt because I've been there. Not in a tank, but just in my travels. I did travel across the Sahara Desert and I went through there on the way to Ashwan on the Nile. Um, but that's another story, another subject. <laughs> um, and this is the Northern Russia from autumn 1942, the same year, same time of the year. So we got the Russian German gray version. And this one's got uh, semi XF93, which is a light brown. I, I can't decide. Can't decide which way to go with that. Interesting. Um, so this was quite good too. It's actually telling us here all the parts of the tank. So we got some insulating wood strip. I did actually see some pieces that looked like it had wood grain, which I thought was unusual, but obviously there's a reason for that. Uh, you've got spare wheels on here. We've got a stowage box on the side. We've got all our jerry cans on the rack. Um, there's a light on there. Um, signal port, ventilator on the top. So that's interesting. Um, it goes through different languages here, but I'm looking at uh, the English one here. It was used on the Eastern Front. So there's a bit of history there to read up on it. Uh, so that's interesting. So, yeah. Very nice. It's also showing your decals there as well. Not many decals. Um, and a pretty simple paint scheme for both of them. Uh, that's certainly not uh, building a ship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's good. All right, so let me just grab the instruction manual and we'll go through that back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So here we go with the instructions. Um, so basically, we start with paints required here on the front. So, depending on which one you're going to build, um, these are suggesting Tamiya paints. So, we've got German grey or we've got the light brown. Um, so there's the lacquer they're suggesting. Um, there's also a green, there's a bit of red, and some gunmetal X10. Um, there's black, there's white, there's flat flesh color, which and khaki, which we need for the doing this um, the crew, some flat earth, and deck tan. All right. Um, there's metallic grey used, dark yellow, red brown, uh, field grey, dark iron, rubber black for the tracks, I guess. Um, although they're not rubber, are they? Mm, interesting. Uh, and light brown. Usual recommended tools. Okay. So we start off with A and B, which is showing two types of um, the 12th, 21st Panzer Division in Alamin in North Africa, or we've got the 12th Panzer Division in Northern Russia, both from 1942 autumn. Uh, so you'd have to be aware of the A and B. I think through the kit there'd be reference to that. Certain parts uh, may not be on one tank or maybe on the other. I'm noticing here that there doesn't seem to be any crew showing on the Russian version. So maybe the only North African one has the crew, which sort of makes it a decision on which one to build, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely the crew. Now here we've got a list of not used parts. So there'll be a few leftover parts because a lot of these were replaced with some new parts as this is last year's update of the kit. I'm only going to go really briefly through these because I really don't know a lot of this. <laughs> so 
So I don't know what I'm looking at, but we'll have a quick look through. There's another rear panel here. Step two, step three is going on, attaching the muffler already. Um, things like that. The muffler may be something you might want to leave off, depending on how far you want to go with the weathering. Um, that's my concern building this kit is how do you, like, the muffler is going to be dirty and rusty and, you know, that's probably something you want to do before you put it on the kit. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we've got gear cases. So these are for the wheel, wheels uh, or for the tracks, I guess. Going on to the lower hull, putting parts on the lower hull. Rollers, return rollers they're called. And good. Step six is putting, uh, attaching the bogies on for the suspension. Uh, upper track runs going on the jig that I, we showed earlier in the uh, on that sprue. Uh, there's special note there on uh, the tracks, confirming direction of the jig and links. Then assemble from front backwards. Yep. We'll figure that out. Uh, careful not to apply thin cement to the jig. Yes, you don't want to glue that to the jig. Makes sense. So anyway, it's quite detailed. It shows you there. Um, the actual That's in actual size, so that's good to know what it's going to look like. Then we need to drive sprockets here. Uh, attaching the wheels to go on. Uh, one side, then doing the other side. Uh, attaching the tracks, which I've heard is fun. Find out. Yeah, there's quite a lot to that. Step 11 is uh, front armour, frontal armour areas. The upper hull, which is what I call the turret by mistake. That's the upper hull. The machine gun, it's attaching the machine gun there. We've got uh, front fenders. I'm glad that Tammy had named the parts because I wouldn't have a clue what to call these things. But yeah, that's where we saw the metal plate detail on that. It was really nice. The front blend, front bend, fenders. Get it right. Um, more upper hull areas going on here and here. Ah, we've got A and B showing here. So A will be for the... Not the German tank, the B is the German tank. <laughs> Rear fenders going on, A and B, there's a difference. Um, attaching the rear fenders, attaching the upper hull. Uh, looks like there's a spade going on here, a shovel, depending on where you're from. What's the difference between a spade and a shovel? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh, a spade's on a deck of cards, isn't it? Anyway, I'll cut that bit out. We've got uh, attaching the engine access hatches. Okay, that's what all they are. Uh, attaching the hull parts again. Lots of pieces going on here. Some more tools going on. A lot of paint call-outs for different colours for all those. Um, here's some tow cable, attaching the tow cable going on there. That looks good. Uh, we've got step 22 we're at now, which is attaching the hull parts number two. So that's tank A, which is the one on the eastern front, Northern Africa, and more Northern Africa one. Uh, more hull parts, and then we go B, which is going back to the German one, hull parts. Uh, there's a gun. That's what that was. Okay, so there's a gun going on there. There's a second gun going on here. There's a third gun. That's the main gun. That's going on. Fourth gun. Oh, yeah, they got some, certainly got some guns on this thing. There's our turret going together. Uh, turret 2, so that's another section of it going on. A lot of bits to this, isn't there? Turret 3, more going on. 
Um, there's a stowage bin going on the front here. We'll put all that together. Uh, cupula. I don't know if I spelled that, pronounced that right. Cupula. Cupola. I don't know, but that's part of the mechanism for rotating the gun, I'm sure. Yep. There it is there, attaching it. So it's going to sit on the top. Um, attaching the hatches. There's hatches on the top of that. Oh, okay. That's where the hatches are. Okay. That's where they come, climb in and out. More hatches going on there. More pieces. More hatches. Lots more hatches. Both A tank and B tank. Then we've got A tank here is attaching the turret. The B tank here is attaching the turret for the German version. Uh, we're up to step 37 here. It's quite a lot. 38 is... Oh, they were, they are spare, spare tracks that go on the tank. On the front there. It's good. Uh, what else? And then we go on to the figures. A lot of detailed stuff there for the figures. Uh, a lot of painting callouts. Uh, and parts. That'll be interesting. This guy's got a little sidearm gun here. He's got binoculars. He's got his headset on here as the commander. We've got the infantry guy here. We've got the loader. And we've got the gunner and the driver. So that's good. So there's five of them. Very nice. Maybe step 40. Putting on spare road wheels. Okay. And then uh, positioning the figures. We put them in their spots. There's where those bags are going on there. Like sandbags, I'm guessing. Um, there's a top-down view as well, which is good. There's some more antennas. It's saying the antenna can be folded down, so that's good. We don't want to snap that off. That's step 41. And that is it. Step 41. Goes over to painting. Details. Applying decals usual how to do that and that's it hands are camper wagon uh, thing <laughs> well anyway uh, let me know let me know down in the comments how you pronounce that that could be tricky how are you going to do that <laughs> anyway looks like a great kit um, a lot of detail in there it's made by Tamiya so that's a good sign I just saw there, there's the item number is 35378 if you want to order this. Um, doesn't cost much here in Australia. It was under $80 Australian. Currency rate at the moment is probably around about $50 US. Uh, not sure what the British pound is. Um, very popular tank. A lot of people are, um, are building this, which is why I guess we're, we're going to be doing this for our uh, group build so I'm really looking forward to the group build and uh, and getting this started now if you're watching this video not long after it's come out um, keep an eye out for uh, like hit the subscribe and hit the notifications button you'll get notified and you'll be able to see us building this on the channel and if you're watching this afterwards, then I'll make sure there's a link down in the descriptions where you can go to our um, our build of the tank. All right. So once again, thanks for watching. And please, if you've built this tank already, just let me know if I'm going to come across any problems or if you've got any tips, um, put them down in the comments below. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this certainly something different but that's what i like and who knows maybe i'll be starting to build tanks as well as ships from now on <laughs> all right so again give us a thumbs up um subscribe if you haven't already and uh i'll see you all in the next next video thanks for watching bye